Radical rule changes and the world debut of two new GT racing cars mark the start of the 2003 Autobax Japan GT Championship. The series that's arguably the best of its kind in the world launches into the new season with the first race start for Nissan's new Z car. And a debut too for ex-Formula One star Agari Suzuki's road-going supercar, the Garaya. The JGTC's outright contenders from the 2002 season, the GT500, Nissan, Toyota and Honda entries, look pretty much the same. But they are in fact radically different under their bodywork, thanks to new rules that allow pipe tube frames front and rear and free suspension. There's also the freedom now to locate the engine and gearbox anywhere. The rules also dictate that underneath, the GT500 cars must have flat bottoms, so reducing aerodynamic downforce. The new 350Z is a racer that Nissan has high hopes for. Not just in the JGTC's GT300 class, but worldwide as an off-the-shelf customer racer, much like Porsche's Carrera Cup cars, this car is a GT300, uh, but uh, regulation is the same as GT500. Uh, but uh, you know, this is for private purpose, so we are not modified so much. Right. So we are keeping the uh, same structure of production cars. Just uh, all aerodynamics part changed and uh, engine tune up, so, so that's all, not so big change. But, but gearbox position and uh, uh, engine position are same. Oh, okay. Exactly the same as uh, uh, production cars. Yes. But uh, engine tuned and the gearbox uh, itself changed. Yes, okay. Yeah, more, more strong one. Yeah. Right. And uh, uh, suspension also same geometry. The Garaya 2 is targeted at an international racing career, but it is, on the other hand, something completely different. Its 2-litre turbocharged Nissan motor is mid-mounted, with the gearbox at the rear. And Suzuki is hoping that his drivers, Morio Nitta and Shinichi Takagi, can repeat the GT300 title they won last year in the team's old car, a Toyota MRS. We try to get a champion this year, yeah. but it, it's a very difficult situation. So because it's a, so this project started uh, last last June, yeah. but this car is just now uh, finished now, right. and, uh, not enough in the test. Right. But it's, uh, we have to we have to do more development yeah. during the season. Yes, but uh, yeah. so we try to get in champion this year. There's also another new car debuting in GT300, a Ferrari 360 Modena, built by renowned race car constructor Dome. On top of the redesign to meet the new rules, Toyota has a radical change in power plant for its Supras, dropping its turboed four in favour of a brand new, normally aspirated 5.2 litre V8. Nissan, like rival Toyota, has moved the gearbox to the rear, the new rules giving the big GTR a dramatically lower centre of gravity. Honda, probably the best handling and most aerodynamic car last season, now has its V6 engine repositioned, with the gearbox mid-mounted. On top of all these car changes, there's been a major reshuffling of the driver pack. One that sees XF1 driver and established Nissan star Eric Comas switching camps to Toyota. Yeah, well, I was going to retire basically last year. I mean, uh, I set up different business activities in Europe and here in Japan. So I, I wanted still to race, but not as the first driver like I've been last uh, six years with Nismo. And this time it's what's happening. I'm not anymore the first driver, which is my wishes. And I will be the support driver and uh, thanks to Takeshi to, to set up the car. And he's, he's, he's a very young, talented Japanese guy. Richard Lyons, a race winner last year for Honda, takes the place of Comas at Nissan. 
Yeah, well, I uh, had a, a great season uh, with Honda, my first uh, season in GT. We won the, the GT Championship with them, uh, the team championship. So, you know, I'd done my work there and uh, it was time to, time to move on and see if we can bring back the championship to Nizan. Dutch tin top specialist Tom Coronel returns after a few years' absence as teammate to the talented Daisuke Ito. Yes, so very good teammate. Uh, so setting is not so different, yep. same. Uh, and uh, very good talking uh, entertainer. So <laughs> always so uh, <laughs> very good. Uh, he make good good team mood. Uh, because last year we were so strong with the Hondas, I mean, uh, that's why they changed the regulation a little bit. Uh, now it looks like the Toyota and the Nissan are uh, really strong. After so much change, it seems only natural that the season opener has something new at the top of the timesheets. Skylines have won races and championships before, but since 95 they haven't taken a pole until Satoshi Motoyama delights his Nissan bosses here. 2001 champions Hironori Takeuchi and Yuji Tashikawa are second. I think we're losing so much downforce this year, it's going to be very difficult for us to drive. However, the V8 engine has increased the power and uh, the car itself has become very powerful. But it gives us so much um, stress and pressure on the drivers now. But you can win? Of course. Of <laughs> course. But here at the rural TI circuit, the NSX looks like it's hurting from the rule changes. Coronel and Ito have to push hard for third place on the grid. Defending champions Akira Ida and Juichi Wakasaka qualify fourth. The competition become much uh, more fierce among the, the, the other cars. And uh, I think we have to look at the season with a different point of view from last year. We have, we have to deal with it. We have to look at a different way to um, compete in the series. But I think it's going to be more exciting for the people to watch. And I think it's going to be more exciting race for us to uh, drive. So that's one thing I'm looking forward to. In GD300, it's the Porsche of amateur photographer at Sushi Yoko and Akihiro Asai that's quickest. I think we'll be okay. It's it's a really tough. I, I've never raced in this car, but I've you know every everyone tells me that this is a really tough car and it goes up to the end. So um, I'll just do my best. The reckless Toyota MRS is second fastest, with Satoru Goto and Kota Sasaki driving. Young gun Masataki Yanagida and Mitsuhiro Kinoshita are an impressive third in the 350Z. The Garaya is also on the pace, qualifying fifth in GT300. Well, there's a big crowd in on a sunny but cool spring day here at Aida, and there's a lot of interest in the new cars and in the race queens. Time now then for a quick look at the top cars on the grid in each class. So Motoyama's on pole thanks to a 1 minute 24.6 second lap, then it's Tashikawa's Toyota, Ido's Honda and reigning champ Wakasaka's Supra, still just 7 tenths of a second off pole. Fifth is the Mishigami Philippe Honda, then it's three more Toyotas, all within 1.6 seconds of the pole time. A 1 minute 32.4 second lap won pole for Yogo and Asai. With the Sasaki Goto Toyota, the new Nissan and the pole Porsche's sister car within seven tenths of a second. Fifth is the Garaya, ahead of the Takahashi Watanabe Honda, the Hoshino Uematsu Nissan Silvia and the Amamiya team's Mazda RX-7. Ready to race now and the field heads off behind Satoshi Motoyama, the 32-year-old who's also a star in Formula Nippon, Quite a cool day, so the tyres definitely need some warming up. That's Yogo at the wheel of the 24. Oh, and there's disaster for Takeuchi. He spun the number 38 car that was to start in second place. That's a disaster. What a way to start the season. 
Help arrives in the form of pushes to try and get him restarted, but he's not going to take his place up front, that's for sure. He'll be somewhere way down the back. Because here's Motoyama bringing the field down to the green lights, and they're on their way. The season's underway, and Motoyama gets a good break straight away on Daisuke Ito. And that is uh, Akira Ida slotting in beside Sebastian Philippe in the Honda. And this view from inside Jeremy Dufour's Toyota just going past Philippe. So that's a great start from him. He's made up a couple of places already. But there it is, the sad story of Takeuchi. He's being flagged off, so he's not even going to make the race. So disaster for him, but things going great for Motoyama out front as a big fight goes on for second place. That is Dufour, the young French driver who's just got his advent to Oda, up from sixth on the grid to second already, halfway through the first lap. What a great start. It's a fight just behind the leader two in GT300 with Yogo safely out front in the Porsche, Sasaki's MRS second, but only just. Kinoshita's Nissan and uh, Shinichi Yamaji in the Porsche right there as well. Look at the gap that Motoyama's opening up though in the brand new Nissan. It's the only one of the new spec cars here so far with two more due at the next round. On board with Akira Ida in the number one car, the defending champion taking uh, Daisuke Ito on the straight there. So he's moving on up as well and tracking him that is uh, Dominic Schwager in the Denso Saad car. GT300 second place under threat here. The reckless MRS being taken by the sister car to the race leader. So that is Yamaji moving up and now behind his teammate Yogo. Yogo though has got quite a little bit of a break there. So the endless Porsche got a bit of a buffer in the front of the field. Big fight here. This is for about sixth place in GT300. And there's another one here with the two older spec skylines of Masami Kagayama and Benoit Chaloya. Oh, trouble here for Yudai Garashi in the uh, McLaren. He's turned it around and here come the race leaders right into that corner with Dufour all over the back of Motoyama's Nissan. Oh, and Dufour's copped a hit. Obviously, Igarashi couldn't see him and pulled across the track and made contact with the right rear wheel on that Toyota. So let's just hope after such a fantastic start, it's not going to cause him troubles. Here comes Ida right behind Dufour. Oh, look at this. It's a Toyota attack on the lead. So Motoyama has one on the outside. That is Dufour pulls wide and Ida goes on through. Now he tries to dive down. Oh, contact, I think, yes. A bit of a bump. And look at it. Dufour just dives past. Wow, and he hit him on the way by. Wow, talk about no love loss. This is Toyota versus Nissan, these two arch rivals. And Dufour has gone to the lead of the race. Here's the replay from Ida's point of view. Watch this. Dufour goes to the outside, locks up big time. Ida says, thanks very much, I'll have a go now. Comes right in behind the Nissan, dives down the inside on the downhill left-hander. Just a little bump there, but here comes Dufour rocketing past and hits the front left wheel of the Nissan as he goes by. Unbelievable stuff. So the Advan Toyota that started on the third row of the grid, now leading the race, and Motoyama under attack again from Ida. Ida pulling down the inside. Looks like he's going to get him because the right hand is coming up. Yes, he's done it. Wow, so back up to second place. After that eventful clash they had, the three of them before, Akira Ida moves up to second in the SO car and Motoyama relegated back to third. So the Frenchman getting a good break out front now as he approaches the halfway mark in this 300-kilometre race. Sure enough, the Nissan's in. So this is Motoyama handing over to Michael Krum, the German. Looks like everything going to plan there for the uh, former race leader. Here's Akira Ida getting out as well in Wakasaka. Joichi Wakasaka, that is, climbing into the Esso Toyota. And, of course, Dufour is in as well. So the three race leaders coming in about the same time. Seiji Ara climbs on board the number 25 car. And last-minute instructions here for Akihiro Asai as the GT300 leader comes in as well. Well, the halfway mark pit stops have come and gone and they have shuffled the order in the top three. Michael Krum now leads in the Nissan. Joichi Wakasaka in the number one Toyota is next. And the former race leader, the number 25 car there, the black and red car, is now in third place. So Seiji Ara now at the wheel of the Advan car.
There's the former GT300 leader as well, right behind the 25 car. And here is his sister car, the number 26 Porsche, resuming after its pit stop. Ah, looks like there's been a bit of Nissan versus Toyota rivalry going on here. This is the lap number 12 Nissan of Yuji Ide has been holding up Juichi Wakasaka for a while now. Wakasaka finally getting a break past. Oh, and just ahead, a bit of tit for tat maybe, as the lap Shigikatsu Wakasaka holds up Michael Krum, who's waving his fist at him, because right behind is Shiggy's older brother, Juichi, weaving now, dives to the outside, as Krum gets ushered to the inside of the track by the little brother, the older brother comes right around to take the lead of the race away. As Krum gets a little bit loose as well, Shigikatsu Wakasaka comes back alongside him, oh, he just gets elbowed out of the way. Krum probably none too pleased with a lap car playing such a critical part in the race. Wow, in GT300, the pit stops have had a radical effect as well because up front now is Katsuo Takahashi in the Honda. Got ahead of the two Porsches. The Honda was running third through most of the first half of the race behind the 24 Porsche. Well, now the 26 Porsches moved into second place. Katsuyuki Nishizawa at the wheel of that one. And that means this car, with Akihiro Asai at the wheel now, is back in third place. Travelling on board with outright race leader Juichi Wakasaka. Got a good break now on the... Oh, and he's turning the car around. He's lost it. Just coming around the right-hander off the big back straight. He's either got caught out by the cool weather or maybe he has a tyre problem or suspension problem. Spins the wheels as he backs it out, but already Krum has gone past and so too is Ara in the number 25 car. So Wakasaka resumes, but he's now back in third place. What a race this is turning out to be. Here's our new race leader, Michael Krum. Well, he was the old race leader till they overcame him. And here's the second place man, Seiji Ara, in the Advan Toyota. Oh, and Takahashi in the Honda has been caught by Nishizawa and by Asai. The two Porsches, and it's Asai who's gone ahead after the Honda gets turned around. Oh, and he almost clips the Honda of Tom Coronel as he resumes. And guess what? It's all on up front again. Michael Krum seems to have been easily picked up by Seiji Ara. Don't know whether Nissan has a problem, perhaps from that contact earlier between these same two cars. But now Krum negotiates Masaoki Nagashima's little MRS. Oh! And Ara slams straight into the side of it. There was a gap there, but that suddenly closed. Ara has damage on the front left. In fact, I think he has a flat tyre as he goes down the front straight, trying to keep the pace up. Yes, he's got a collapsed suspension now. That's a disaster for what has been a very up and down race. Here's the replay. Krum goes through on the inside. Ara sees a gap there, but suddenly it's closed. Bang! Into the side of him. And that is the end of their front running race. Look at this, though. One drops out, another one takes it up. Wakasaka is right on the back of Michael Krum's Nissan now, really putting the pressure on. And yes, I think Krum does have a problem. Going very wide in the corner there. No attempt to shut him out or no way to. Now he's holding on as they go down the long back straight, but he has to accept. No, he doesn't. Comes back at him on the inside, but it's not going to work. So Juichi Wakasaka gets a little tap in the back, but that is all. Holds on to it and is back in the lead of the race. Meantime in GT300, this is the little Toyota MRS of Satoru Goto who's got past the Honda for third place. But this is it for the race lead, the SO Ultra Flow car coming around the last seconds of the race. Juichi Wakasaka and his teammate Akira Ida are going to take this one out. What a great way to start for the defending champions. It hasn't been an exactly trouble-free run or incident-free run, that's for sure, but they have done it. So even with a spin on route, and a couple of other dramas, they come through to take the chequered flag. Wakasaka looks pretty happy, that's for sure, and why wouldn't he be? Here's Asai coming through to take the win in GT300. Again, not exactly straightforward, but a win nonetheless for the endless Porsche. And second place for the sister car, not too far behind. The Aida crowd looks on appreciatively as Wakasaka climbs out. Jubilation, big hugs for his teammate Akira Ida. Very happy boys, a bit of an explanation. What a race it's been, there's a lot to talk about. And a wave to the crowd, time for celebration. <laughs> One more happening. <laughs> <laughs> Not more happening. For you, very nervous yeah, watching. Very lucky. Yes. Mm, yeah. But this is very 
good, good race. Ah, very and good race. This is a machine, very good engine, yeah. and very good chassis. Right. Also, very nice. So, Ida and Wakasaka enjoy the moment. Uh, Satoshi was hit by Toyota, and the suspension was all, all bent. So, when I went out of the pits, I already knew this is not possible because when I brake, the car turned left. And was very very different in left and right corners right, okay. so I could not keep the tires because of the car was yeah. not in, yeah. in a straight line yeah yeah we are very happy because uh, it was quite difficult weekend for us and uh, we still need to work a lot yeah. Uh, but yeah very happy to make a podium on the first race big celebrations though for the Tyson team actually the radio was broken I didn't know which place where I was actually but really? um but um, you know, I just didn't care. I, I, I heard, heard, heard the, yeah, the noises, but I just kept going and going and going. Yeah. So um, it was it was good. So the SO Ultra Flow team start the season as they finish the last one on top of the podium. A win in the end by four seconds, with Krum and Motoyama bringing the new Nissan Skyline home second. The Michigami Philippe, Ito Coronel, and Matsuda Kogure Hondas prove that they're not far off. It's a very successful day for the Taisan Advan Porsche team with Atsushi Yogo and Akihiro Asai taking the win five seconds ahead of teammates Shinichi Yamaji and Katsuyuki Nishizawa. Kota Sasaki and Satoru Goto are a lap down in third place. But Joe Naisawa Toyota MRS comes home fourth ahead of the Honda. In the GT500 driver's standings, Wakasaka and Ida take a four-point lead over Motoyama and Krum. Philippe and Mishigami are nine points off the lead, just one point up on fellow Honda drivers Ito and Coronel. In the GT300 standings, a clean sweep of the points for pole and fastest lap, as well as the win, give Asai and Yogo 22 points for the day. That's six better than teammates Yamaji and Nishizawa, with Toyota drivers Sasaki and Goto another three points back.